Lots of people and organizations in our area are trying to do their part to help the people of Oklahoma. Fox 11's Ben Crumholtz introduces us tonight to a Shawano woman's collection effort. This one is... Dee Lyons admits if you didn't know what she was doing, you might think she's trying to be featured on the TV show Hoarders. I have over 100 people willing to donate. Lyons Garage and House are filled with donated items ready to be shipped to Oklahoma to help the victims of last week's deadly tornado. This is just horrifying for them people. So that's why I'm doing it. Lyons got into the giving mood last December. Since then, she's held collections for 15 Shano area families. All different crises, fire, one had a brain aneurysm, couldn't support his children. Helping the people in Oklahoma is her first long distance effort. Boxes and uh, packaging tape, I'm going through like it's water. Watching the news and stuff and seeing the destruction in Oklahoma City, it's, or in Oklahoma, it's, it's just awesome that Dee's doing this kind of thing for him. Word of Lions collection has spread, mostly on Facebook. The people just keep coming and coming. Oh yeah, there's cars, two or three, four of them will pull up in an hour. Uh, I do work, but this is harder than work. <laughs> Lions says personal care items are still needed along with help to sort items. But at the moment, one need is outweighing the rest. Our biggest hurdle is finding a transportation to get it there. All the trucking companies that we've asked, they've all said no so far. So plan B will be Ryder or U-Haul. Lyons is holding a rummage sale next weekend to get gas money to get the donations to Oklahoma. It's a trip she plans to see through herself. It's just a good feeling to help people in general. Um, it doesn't matter where they're located. In Shano, Ben Crumholz, Fox 11 News. Lyons also said she is exploring the idea of turning her collection efforts into a nonprofit organization under the name Heaven Sent.